here. It is again Group A before the start of play. You can see where these teams are in the FIBA Women's World Rankings, uh, presented by Nike. And uh, well, this is an old-fashioned rematch: uh, two African giants trading blows. They met in the final of the FIBA Women's AfroBasket back on August 5th of last year. That game won by Nigeria, their fourth consecutive FIBA Women's AfroBasket title. And they come in as favorites. I'm Jeff Taylor, joined by Zania Stewart. And uh, it's the road to the Olympics, of Zania, the moment of truth for these teams. It sure is. And I'm so excited to be back with you here, Jeff. But the lights are bright and the stakes are high. And the pressure is on. And you know what they say, pressure makes diamonds. We are in the diamond district of Antwerp. But for me, like you said, the battle of the Afro nations. These two teams always make it to Afro baskets in the final. And I just think we have a full on uh, fight. Well, you know, the experience that's in this Nigeria team, you've got players that have made it to the top of the podium. The confidence, the confident factor is the confidence factor is high. They believe they're going to qualify for the Olympics. Obviously, you'd like to win this tournament. Uh, to have even more confidence going into France. And talking about confidence, that must come from the Afro Basket champions. They are back to back to back. They've won it four times. They know how to get it done, especially against the Senegal team. They played each other, like you said, back in August. It was only a 10 point game, Jeff, but anything can happen. It's a new day, a new dawn. And for me, I am so excited for this game because this, this is a final, in my opinion, on day one. Well, some interesting developments uh, for Senegal certainly coming in with a new coach and uh, we'll see how this fares, but not an unfamiliar coach, uh, someone that coached Uganda at the FIBA Women's Afro Basket last year and obviously Senegal liking uh, what they saw uh, from Alberto, uh, the Spanish coach. And we will talk more about that in just a second. Uh, before that, we're going to have the playing of the national anthems. Oh, it's great to hear those national anthems right before the start of the game reminds us uh, this is all about national pride. And uh, as we we're talking about Alberto Carlos Antuna Leal, who led Uganda at the FIBA Women's Afro Basket, has taken over at the helm of course Senegal at the time. Last year, we're led by Mustafa Gay. Uh, and here we have the referees. And the referees, Rabanujem, the crew chief tonight from Lebanon, from Bulgaria, Vincislav 
Belikov and Amal Dahra from France on the right. Well, they're also a team on the floor. They will work together, the third team, and we're the fourth team, Jeff. Yes, we are, and we're excited <laughs> to be here. This is a, uh, doesn't get any better than this. Two African powers. Yep. Nigeria, winners of four consecutive uh, African titles and looking to underline their status in the game by getting right back to the Olympics. And uh, this is a team I think that's dangerous, not just against Senegal, but against Belgium. And they are not gonna take the floor against the USA later in this tournament thinking that they're gonna lose. Uh, this is a confident bunch and for good reason. Well, this is, you know, young, wild and free as you like to say, but they're long, they're lean. This is a new age of the Nigerian basketball. Rina Wakama, the head coach of Nigeria, she led them to that fourth uh, FIBA Women's Afro Basket title last year. Yeah, and just going back to this Nigerian team, for me, um, maybe a better Nigerian shooting team that I've seen. They've also got uh, Promise Amakomora, who's back. So Alberto pacing the sidelines. Alberto Antuna Leal, the head coach again, he led Uganda. And I think, you know, his team played hard. Yeah. And I think that's probably one thing that stood out. And uh, he made some good adjustments during timeouts. And if you're looking for a new head coach, he's got some experience and he knows this Nigerian team. So Umal Sar, Sierra Dillard, uh, Maimouna Diara, Yassin Diop, Fatou Kui in the starting five with Ayat Traore, Yang, and Do. Uh, Kani, Khan, excuse me, Diop, Sila, and Jan coming off the bench. And we want to highlight one of the veterans in this team. It's Promise of Nakamura I spoke about. He's returned to the Nigerian team. A real point guard is probably something that they were missing from Afrobasket. Well, let's see. Uh, the Afro People Women's Afrobasket MVP, Amy Akonkwo, where Zero, Palace, Kunai, Akpana, Elizabeth Balagoon, Sarah Goke, the veteran, and Blessing Ajia for in that starting five with Lauren Abu, Koro, keep an eye on her, uh, Mukamara, Musa, Taiwo, Adeyeye, all the way down. It's a good, talented bunch, and I'm fairly confident, Taiwo as well, that, that Wakama's going to go deep to her bench. Yeah. She'll go deep well, early on. What I know of Nigeria for many, many years is their defense, Jeff. They'll play, and I've seen them play full court for 40 minutes. They really put the pressure on and uh, make other teams choke and choke up the ball and, and turn them over and get easy baskets. That is something that you have to worry about if you're Senegal. Yeah, they will punish you for mistakes. Correct. And you can't make mistakes, and it's easier said than done against against Nigeria because yeah. uh, they're big, they're strong, they're fast. Yeah, and they just wear you down over 40 minutes. Um, but, you know, what I do like about Senegal, they've got length, they've got height, they've got skill. Um, at times, maybe just don't look after the ball and turnover. It's going to be crucial today that they don't be their own uh, worst enemy. They can't afford any silly mistakes. Well, we know the coach, uh, Albert, uh, was talking about it before the game that you know they've had a few days to practice yeah uh, days they don't have mm -hmm. the luxury of the continuity i think that this nigeria team has in terms of the connection with the coach but that's just kind of the nature of the game and you have to be smart intelligent players yeah and uh, at least the players know each other yeah right. and what senegal does have is saw uh, you know i would like to call her a fine wine number six she is 40 years old. There's not many players that are still uh, playing there. She is uh, number six. Uh, and uh, for me, I just think she's such a great presence. She, she uh, extends the floor, can shoot the three, and she will definitely be the engine of this team. So Nigeria, who played at the last Olympics, Obviously, we're used to seeing him at FIBA Women's Basketball World Cups. So we didn't see him in Australia, but this is a team uh, that, again, has the expectations of, of getting to the podium. And uh, they have every right to believe they're going to make it to the Olympics.
Well, good evening, everybody. We're underway here in Antwerp, the great city in Belgium. Nigeria taking on Senegal. Nigeria in the green, and the Tigris almost turned it over. Uh, they'll keep it at this end. Shot clock does not restart. And I'm not exactly sure what this call is. And I think, uh, I'm not sure that anybody knows what the call is. So they're going to, maybe because they did not reset the shot clock, that's what it was. So they, they've now restarted because of that deflection. A whole new 24. Sarah. A go cake. Well, there you go. Experience coming right out. Yep. Big time experience right at the top of the key. Nobody guards it. Why not? Light it up. I seen Diop denied on the baseline, but the whistle blows and Balagoon picks up her first foul. Nice little reverse layup for her. She'll go to the line for two. Here it is. Nice baseline drive. And I'm guessing, I'm guessing it was because of the swiping motion down that the referee made that call. Got a lot of ball there, but Diop is not going to be complaining. She gets to the line and makes the first. Wearing, she's got that hair long now. It's a very different player, and she is one of the stars of the Senegal team. And of course, Dillard is just going to be sensational. She wears number eight for Senegal. Keep an eye on her. And a Conquo's pass into the hands of Saar now. She had 19 points the last time she played Nigeria. She's pretty much most of their offense. The veteran Saar gets it over to Dillard and makes her first three. It went into Saar down low in the post and she told her team to move. A wide open shot. Palace misses everything from the right. A little bit of a shaky start here for Nigeria. And perhaps not surprising considering it's the first game. The ball out of bounds off Diada. First game for the whole tournament here in Belgium. Maybe a little nerves. Wonderful city. Well, the deflection, they get the turnover. Very sloppy Nigeria. And Sar gets it over to Dillard. Will it be two in a row? Nope, she misses. Kind of chases it down. There's Dillard. Spins, turns, Sar wide open. And misses out badly. Okay, feeds a G4 down low. She goes up strong and scores. Beautiful move. I love that quick offense. Go right inside. Lovely finish by Ejo Fork. Miller takes the bump. She can create her own shot, there's no doubt. She's going to pass it, and Diara gets swatted by Kunkwo. Great timing. And another pass down low, and this time it's a Conquo off the feed from a Gia four. Beautiful on the defensive end, getting the block and then rewarded on the offensive end. Three seconds, building a house in there, way too long. Too obvious, Saar trying to pass it to her post partner. Just move the ball on. Get a rotation. Now Thomas and Mokamura will take Ogoke out. This is a player that is very experienced. Uh, Ignites can create her own offense also and has been with the Nigerian team for a very long time. There's the pass to get another good one down low, G4. And Nigeria. Having started with the three-pointer, have had some success now feeding it down low. Saar, meanwhile, gets right to the rim. Looking young, I told you, wild and free. 
Doesn't matter her age, she's got to the rim very quickly. Nobody picked her up. It's the right decision. There's Balagoon, one of the great scorers, over to Mukamara. Amy Conquo, and she is fouled, spinning into the lane. Here it is. Lovely spin. Just gets her hand in there. She was the most dominant player last summer in Rwanda at the FIBA Women's Afro Basket, Amy Conquo, and to see her get her chance, yep. I mean, that real chance for Nigeria and show what she can do, I think she's kind of proved how special she is. Yeah, 24 years old, real prime, great body, strong, can control the ball, handle the ball, and get to the room. Taking her time. And substitution Balagoon goes out. And coming in is Ifia Coro. Another one of those explosive shooting guards, small forwards, it's, more of a guard. Yeah, this is the full court press that I was talking about at the start of the game. Look, they get the turnover that they wanted. It's dangerous. It's kind of unforced. It was almost as if they heard footsteps. <laughs> Putting it up from deep. And Mukumar misses her first attempt. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be Senegal's basketball. So. Nice. It seems like Nigeria have found a little bit of a comfort level here early that Senegal have not. Oh, still early in the game. 11 to 7. Antoine Poy is a good player. She hasn't had any touches yet from Senegal. And here's Diop bringing it up the court. Four of Horn's plate. Sar feeds it down low. She gets it to Pui. And the up foul driving in. Really good choice by her. Time running down. Lovely drive. Takes a few knocks, actually. We'll go to the line for two. So fascinating uh, situation. We had a couple blowouts earlier today in China. Yep. With uh, France and China winning. And... We've already had Japan beat, beat Spain. Spain. Yeah, this is going to be a real, in, yeah, real interesting group. That was much closer, but Japan looking really good. And of course, a team that, even though with a different coach and some different players, they made to the final uh, in Tokyo. Good rebound by Sa. Here's Saar for three, missing it again, and Gia for, boy, look at her length going up for that basketball. Long arms, and Musa again, another player that really took positive steps at the FIBA Women's Afro Basket. Such a quick offense. Let's talk about that. It was two, three seconds. They pushed in transition, and then Musa comes to that little 15-footer, knocks it down. Miller puts it on the deck and she's fouled. So 13 to 8. Senegal trying to weather the storm right now. Now, Alan Abo comes into the game for Nigeria. I think Senegal will be happy to see the Gia 4 go out. She was causing problems. Yeah, and there's Laura Nebo. Big physical post player. It was fast and shot off the front of the rim. That was missed by Sila. And now inside and a little turnaround. Soft shot promising Mukamara. Way too easy. She's wide open. Senegal must match up sooner. 
Yada gets blocked by Aobo, but foul. Yeah, she just gets hit in her face. Look, she just gets well, hit. The problem was she she bit on the pump fake. Yes. She left her feet. Well, that's a great poise post move. I haven't seen Taiwo yet, but when she comes in, I think you're going to be excited. She yes. can fill it up from deep. The Nigeria number 23. No doubt we'll see her very soon. You know you're good if you wear number 23. Hmm. Many greats have worn 23. Was that your number? No, 88, two fat ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Played for Great Britain? Yep, finished with Great Britain with uh, 88. After retiring, came back and decided I wanted a new number. So, second free throw no good. It's a six-point lead for Nigeria. Belgium, the land of the European champions, winning that title last year. Very knowledgeable public when it comes to basketball. Here is the ball saved in bounds to Dillard. And another reach. And another foul. Now Nigeria is over the limit. You see all four red lights lit up under their name well that's not that's a that's a great development for senegal isn't yeah, it because this next four minutes 31 seconds they will go to the free throw line every time nigeria fouls it's huge for them they have to make sure they really execute and capitalize on these free throws well this is the player you want at the line dillard takes the time and oh, she misses so maybe not but she's the player that has to play well has to be special, I think, just as special as she was last year at the Afro basket. For them to achieve their aim of getting to France for the Olympics. She makes one of two. Senegal changing up their defense now. And the ball thrown into Abo goes over her head and out of bounds. They've yet to register that extra point on the graphic. It should be 15 to 10. There it is. In the arena, not on the graphic. There you go. Here's Dillard again. Puts it up over Mukamar, goes down. And Musa quickly up to a Koro. Down low to a Kankwo. Back outside, promising Mukamara. Hello. And Run she up. drives, misses. <laughs> Dillard puts it up from the elbow and foul called on Senegal crashing the boards. Dion in the back. Sorry, Jeff. And then they're having these multiple screens for Dilla to get open. And then just a foul. So now Senegal putting on a little full court pressure. Bit of a Nigeria's taste of their own medicine. Well, I think they need to do something to liven up a little bit. Yeah. But it's only a five point game, but still. Feels like the momentum is with Nigeria. One, two, two, but kind of going into a man. There's Tommy Taiwo. She's checked in now, number 23. She is definitely a zone buster. Abo, though, gets it deep, puts it up and in. Nice little turnaround. Beautiful turnaround. Nice poise finish. And a timeout is called. So, Coach Alberto Carlos Antuna Leal needs to, to tweak what's going on. Get out of the hub and listen. Easy basket, let's go, let's go. It's okay, we are not bad, but we are a little bit nervous in offense, okay? Keep shooting with confidence. But we have to pump the rim, no easy basket, okay? Now watch out, break, break. Okay, we put like this, like this, okay? Sierra with the ball, okay? Yasin, Fatou, the two bigs. We just do this. Boom, boom, you leave. 
you leave, security pass, pitch back, and you get the ball. And we play LA. We play LA. We need to use the two fouls to give. We are good. We are good. Keep pushing. Vale? Well, there you have it. Great time out, spoken. Talking about looking after the ball. Making sure that they put their press break, press break on. Seven point game here. It's a crucial moment for me. Senegal must make sure that they execute, get something easy to the basket. Um, and also capitalize Nigeria's in team fouls. So every time they go to the basket and they get fouled, they will go to the free throw line. They've got to make sure they also execute at the free throw line. They're one from four right now, 25%. So that is definitely not a good uh, percentage. Stand corrected. It's fine. Five for eight. There is Diller driving in and taking the bump, so she's going right back to the line. Diller's one of two. And Avo called for that foul. That's a good job by her. Like I said, she must could hear us drive and you'll get the free throws. It's just kind of front rimming that shot in. Maya Triori has checked into the game, by the way. Number five, another of those uh, long serving players in the Senegal team. And another fine wine at 40 years old. Great body, six foot two. You can shoot it. Here's this zone again. Changing things up, using their length. Okoro lets it fly mid-range. And Priori with her first rebound. Inside the Sport Palace here in Antwerp, Belgium. People win this Olympic qualifying tournament. One of four going on right now. Taiwo. Up to Mukamara and Dillard reaching over, almost forcing the turnover. Watch Dillard here. Well, that was close. Very close. Balagoon back in as well for Nigeria. Conquo gets it deep to Ebo. Goes up and blocked. That's textbook defense right there. Hand straight up. And now Dillard into the paint. See that? Brings it back outside. Now Dillard going up against Promise Mukamara. Dion from the baseline. Up to Dion. Lovely little mid range. Oh, don't look now, but it's just a three point game. Amy Okonkwo has something to say about that. They kicked six very quickly. <laughs> and that's what Nigeria can do score very quickly. Up, spins, goes up and banks it in. Silky smooth. Yep. Beautiful shot. Lovely spin move and high off the glass. And Senegal stays in this matchup, man to man, into a zone. Mukamara left open, this time off the back of the iron. And you come into this game, I think on the outside, a lot of people are looking at this game as the game that determines who goes to the Olympics between these two teams. Everybody's anticipating. Oh, look at that. Dillard just hooping and scooping. Yes, she is. But, you but know, she's... Belgium will not want to look past either of these teams. No. And, you know, USA as well, although USA have already punched their ticket since they're the winners of the FIBA Women's Basketball World Cup. And the ball goes out of bounds and going back over to Senegal. 
Yeah, that's a great point, Jeff. Um, USA were the winners of the World Cup, so they've punched their ticket, and then the host, Paris, the French team have punched their ticket. They're not in this group, but uh, it's really up in the air. Um, I think this game, like I said, is a final for a reason. This, The winner of this team will grow in confidence moving on to the next game. And one step closer to Paris. There's Diop pulling up from the elbow and missing. Fatou Jiang has checked in as well, the veteran point guard, number seven for Senegal. Okay, she opened the scoring up with that three. A little shirt tug, goodness me. Well, didn't matter. He wanted to stop the clock, just 3.4 seconds left. He got fouls to give. You just don't want to commit an unsportsmanlike. And she accomplished that mission. 3.4 seconds is important. Senegal lock up their defense and see what Nigeria have for this last offense of the first quarter. What you do not want to do is foul the three-point shooter. And that was very intelligent of the Goke to try to get into that shooting motion to get to the line, but they blew the whistle before. Okay, Senegal have no more fouls to give. If they foul, we'll go to the free throw line. So this is basically a catch and shoot? Well, you've got more than enough time. Balagoon is going to inbound the basketball. If she gets to a, a Goke, she gets it off in time, and it's off the back of the cup. And Senegal, to be fair, have done very well coming back. Trailing by just two points at the end of one is Nigeria 20, Senegal 18 here in Antwerp. Well, here are the first quarter stats. Senegal, 40%, four from 10, and struggling at the uh, three-point line, but making their way to the free throw line, which is great for them. 50% for Nigeria, six from 12. Pretty even across the board. I felt like they left the door open for Senegal, uh, but we've had a great first quarter, and here are the best plays. So Goke came out, started things with the three-pointer and again Nigeria has been able to come out and, and make some shots Sarah Dillard as well and no surprise well I, I've got to commend uh, Senegal's defense they've really changed it up they've showed showed different looks man-to-man -man, a kind of match-up zone a 1-2-2 two, two, a 1-1-2 one, one, um, loads of different looks and really turned over and made it difficult for Nigeria to get easy bu buckets, but also out in transition. That's where they're fantastic, Nigeria, but they're looking after the ball, and it's been a first, a, a great first quarter. And I think if we would have highlighted a couple of players right at the start, as you see Musa, who, her, again, her development and uh, improvement has just been phenomenal. Kama likes that. If we would have highlighted a couple of players to watch, it would have been Dillard and yeah. Kunkwo, obviously. They're both delivering folks. Get Courtside 1891 in your smartphone. Download the app. Schedule scores. You can watch games. It is uh, what you want to have. Wherever you are, you can watch it. Keep up to date. All of the OQT women. Yep. All of the games has been so many. It's, it's basketball all day. Obviously, this morning was the Chinese. Uh, group afternoon was uh, Hungarian and Chopron today right now is us in in Belgium and then this evening late at night is Brazil what a fantastic day it is non-stop basketball and again the Belgian fans coming into the arena their game starts later tonight it is going to be hopping against the USA hearing it sold out too so we are underway here in the second quarter and Senegal Nigeria in this vital game of the FIBA Women's Olympic Qualifying Tournament in Antwerp. Did you know Antwerp's a diamond district? I did know that, yes. Oh, I'll Wonderful, give you a little uh, fun fact. A lot of history there is a Conquo. Huge uh, port from the North Sea. Conquo, excuse me, uh, Goke comes up and knocks down the jump shot. She's come out and played. Focus. Confidence, hasn't she? Yeah, real focus, you can tell. 
from that first bucket she made. And then comes out in the second quarter, executes. Miles back in the game. Here's a shot from the left corner, and Palace chases it down, the rebound. Diop well aware that Balagoon can shoot it. He's not going to give her any space. There's Balagoon. Palace rolls maybe a little too late. Able to get it to a Conquo. Wow. She's going to like that matchup, a Conquo. Yeah, I think they go to her every single time. So strong. And she worked so hard for that post up move. And can, obviously, long, but kind of. Not as strong as she is. Here's Dillard for three. That's good. I'll tell you what, folks. She is big time. Huge. She is up for the up for the fight. Especially with a hand in her face. Gia four. That's a set shot. Now Dillard. Look at this. They can tie it with a three. Diop for three. Count it. And Senegal have knotted it at 24. Spinning and denied Palace. Ooh, looked like she took a shot there at the end by Sila. He helps her up. Ooh, that's a push, surely, into the chairs. A go okay from Git. Misses. Three point shot. And I, I think what I think what's missing for me yeah. from Nigeria, what makes them special is that intensity. I'm not seeing it yet. Yeah, I feel like um, it usually comes from their defense, their full court pressing, not as much. Gio 4 goes out. These te teams played each other in the summer, like you said, it was only a 10 point game. They know each other very well. You know, the feel the intensity ratcheting up a little bit here. And that is not a good shot by Sila, in my opinion. I don't know what you're trying to get from that. Here's a Joke. Balagoon bears to Palace. Palace goes up, and she has swarmed. Great defense by Senegal. Fantastic defense. Look at this. Goes down low. You're right. They swarm her. Two on one. It's the length, isn't it? Yeah. It's the, the youth, the length. Can, yeah, definitely. As long and lean. And you know, yet that, again, another empty possession for. There's that can do spirit, doesn't she? Here we go. <sighs> Gotta love Jeff Taylor. Senegal can take the lead here if they score. And the whistle blows. Two free throws coming. And speaking about growing confidence, Khan making a play at the other end of the court. And here she is. Look at this. Okay, goes for the steal. And then she says, okay, one on none to the basket. Then Dioma Khan can make the free throw. She's got 24, excuse me, she's 24 years of age. Yeah. And playing, too long and lean, I like it. Playing very important minutes. First big chance for Senegal in this tournament. There's a Conquo getting it deep. Pass at the feet of Musa. There's a Goke. Left open, knocks down to three. That's where she hit her first of the game. She just didn't make any, you know, happiness or anything. Smile, punch the air. She is so focused. Ooh, three-pointer made by Diop, and she goes down like she kind of, her, her foot, like she almost rolled it. That's but second three, also. 
catching fire. Senegal definitely, and they're not, they're not relying too much on Dillard. Everybody else is stepping up right now, which is good for them. There's Musa spinning, turning. Oh, boy. It's so small. Look, see what I mean where the Nigeria's defense is picking up over the other half, where usually they're full court pressing, pressing, pressing. I haven't seen that yet. Here's Cobb for three. Good! Uh-oh, look out. The star is born, and she gets the three sign. Yes, she does. We have to Musa turns. Oh, beautiful play, Musa. Easy. Too easy. You can't sit back and celebrate. You got to get back and play defense. Immediately. But Senegal leading 32 to 31. And it's some of the newcomers that are doing the job, Khan especially. There she is. She gets swatted, though, by Musa. Musa then hustles after the ball. It's a two on one. And Musa hands it off to Goke, who misses. The layup, it's like she took her eye off the, the basket or something. Now quickly up the floor, Sila goes up and she is fouled by Palace. It's a lovely pass. Palace Enough air like, on it. Palace is like, I got drilled at the other end of the court, into the chairs, no fouls called. Here she is getting the whistle blown, but yeah. it does get her with the body. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a pretty easy call for the referee. But I like that pass though. Only uh, Celia can catch that. There may be a charge, but you're what right. What happened to Ogoke there? I mean, she's been like their best shooter in this game, and then it's the easiest shot of the game for her. She misses a layup. Did the ball slip out of her hands, maybe? No, just overshot it. So it makes one of two. 26-year-old, Toyota Antelope, Japan. Played in that people in this Afrobasket team in 2021. There's a Conquo, the jump shot. Go to your Afrobasket MVP to get on track. The Congo just always makes it look so e easy, so silky smooth, just steps right into that shot. And she stepped out of bounds, Khan. Again, down a little long. And Dillard in the open floor. What's she going to do? Bounce pass. The up on nice spin, but she gets swatted by a Goke. It's not just about the shots for a Goke. She's playing some D. Here's Balgoon. You can count that. Huge. Great defense turning into wonderful offense. Great possession from Nigeria there. That's her first bucket. In fact, that's her first shot attempt. On the Duke. Blue Devil. And Palace with the rebound. And I'll go K again. Spinning and swatting. Boy, they have shown the capacity to rim protect yeah. just by standing and putting the arm straight up. Yeah, and where Khan maybe gives up in, you know, strength and size, her length, look at this, just moves her feet, it's all ball, good defense. She has the challenge to, to stop her, go ahead. 348 left in yeah. this uh, first half, and Rena Wakama's gonna call timeout. As Nigeria has got the noses back in front. They have got a fight on their hands. Uh, with Senegal. Let's go down to the huddle and listen to the coach. Lizzie coming off of that, okay? They switch, 
The crowd liking what they're seeing. The anticipation, the excitement. USA are in town to take on the Belgian Cats. That'll be the nightcap after this one. This is a, this is a treat. They've come to watch this one. Yeah. Two for one. And uh, let's see if Nigeria can kind of assert themselves here at the end of the first half or Senegal can continue. Uh, to make things uh, make life a little difficult for the Tigers, and they do. They force the turnover, coming right out of the timeout. That's never a good sign for the for the team that called the timeout. And Paso, they turn it over, and boy, Palace is not getting. It's only a second foul, but yet again, Nigeria in foul team foul problems so they will go to the free throw line and this is what we saw in the first quarter didn't we Absolutely. well you know we talk about the ramifications of this game you know you've also got USA and Belgium after this so for these teams you know, doesn't get any easier. Doesn't get any easier. They need to, you know, they come into this game needing to win this game. Now, the team that wins, in my opinion, especially if it's Nigeria, because of what, you know, the pedigree and the experience, you know, I think they'll like, maybe like their chances against Belgium. Yeah, uh, Senegal play Belgium tomorrow. They are a nice little hesitation. She goes up and scores a three-point play opportunity. And if that's on Palace, that is her third. Oh, I like this move. Lovely pick and roll textbook. But what she does, gets Palace up in the air. No, it's on. No. Yep. Wow. Palace has picked up her third foul. She's going to have to come out. And Abosi is going to come in, Nicole and Abosi. Yeah, Palace Kunai is the three fouls. That's a, something you're going to have to worry about. Yeah, makes the free throw. So that three point play ties it at 36. That's up the floor to Balagoon, who takes it all the way, and she is fouled by Saar. Seems like it's a very quiet arena, isn't it? They're just like murmuring. <laughs> I don't know how, you know, they can't get too excited for some reason this game. They just can't wait for their own team to come out, Belgium and the USA. So Balagoon misses the first. There's the dump down low, and this time a deal for, no, excuse me, Inabosi doing a good job. Getting your hand in there and blocking it. Look at this. Good job, Nicole and Abosi coming right into the game and fighting, bringing that tenacious play. 14. It was soft. 14 on the shot clock. And Diop from the baseline. And look who's in front. So again, just to underline the magnitude of this result right now, Nigeria, winners of four consecutive FIBA women's Afro baskets. They beat Senegal in the Afro basket final last year. And Lucy gets blocked out on the perimeter, and they are looking tough, Senegal. Here comes Diop 
And she goes around Agoke and scores. And alarm bells might be ringing down in uh, Lagos. Boy, that was a tough, great catch from Balagoon, but it's a tough pass to make. I don't know what you're going to get out of that. And Promise of Mukamar comes into the game, and all the momentum right now with Senegal, the Lionesses. It's the Tigress who need to get off the canvas right now. Dillard and Inabosi went for the steal, almost had it, but goes to the corner and there's Diop. Six. Wow. Uh, Inabosi goes in and out. And boy, it's going horribly wrong right now for the Tigris. Three. Dillard misses. Well, Senegal doing very well. I, mean, I think what's really encouraging is they relied so much on Dillard and yeah. the people in the Zafra basket. Where other players are stepping up. Really stepping up. Yeah. And what I like about their defense is that uh, Senegal are uh, man to man face guarding Amir Congo and making it very difficult. If you watch number zero in green here, look. They've got defense right up under her, not letting go. Oh, and they are getting some serious rejections, aren't they? Well, Senegal are very tall, Jeff. You know, they've got a 6'5", a 6' a six foot, a 6'6". Six six. They've got multiple players above 6' foot, but they're long and they have great timing. Promise can inbound the basketball. She goes off of a conquo, but... Now the ball fumbled away by Balagoon. We up the floor, Yop, out to Jang, and Senegal in no rush. And this has been an impressive, impressive first half by Senegal. Against the powerhouse, the powerhouse of African women's basketball. Diop gets it sat down low, and again, another chance for a three-point play. She has been utterly sensational in the first half. She's got 18 points. A wonderful backdoor. Here's the pass by the vet, and the finish, and the flex. Wonderful move. And do you think the alarm bells are ringing now? Well, especially for her, she's, uh, she's on 20 points and could potentially make it 21 at the free throw line. I think she might have 18, now 19. Well, Maybe. okay. Well, in the it arena, be, she has right. 21, so I'll go with... They're just slow catching it up. Okay, I'll go with in the arena. That's where we are. Here is Inabosi. Promise of Mukamara. Steps back. And with six seconds on the shot clock. Sars second foul. Yeah, you're right. The, the official scoreboard says 21. And also got on the uh, somebody's got the two points in the online scoring. Turned over the ball. They're over and back, and now they call it. A little bit slow on the whistle, but they make it. And I'll tell you what, I've not seen Nigeria this uh, discombobulated. In a very long time. In a very long time. I mean, they are just completely out of it. It's all credit to Senegal right now. They are giving it to them. Yeah, but I think they've lost their identity from the defense. I, I spoke about it at the top of the, the cast of saying they play full court. We're listening to the timeout. Close it up. She's on the sideline, run and 
jump, trap and rotate. Leave, leave the furthest person away. Everyone's forward, okay? Run and jump, trying to get a steal right now, okay? When we get over the, when we get the ball back, I want to go fist with you, okay? You and you. Right? Want me back? Yes, but when we get the ball back on offense, I want to go fist. I want you to, you're setting the screen for you, okay? Any questions? Well, uh, you are here, so we're in fist, okay? Amy's here, Thomas is here, setting the screen. Blessing, go get Lizzie. Over in the corner, got it, Nicole, you're over here. You rise when she comes off the screen. Got it? Let's go. Get it started. Let's go, ladies. Go, ladies. Go, ladies. Go, ladies. Keep the hands up on this game. Defense on three. One, two, three. Defense. Well, I think everything I just said was perfectly just said in that timeout. Sarah Goke says, let's pick the pace up. And then coach, as he flexes, talks about they're going to full court press it, try and trap, try and turn over the ball, and then they're going to run an offense. Uh, but they're right. She's right. I think they do need to turn up the heat in the kitchen. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the, the, I, I felt like the intensity hasn't been where it's needed to be. Mm -hmm. But also, it didn't look like there was much panic in the huddle. No. And I guess there shouldn't be, but it's a nine-point lead, and all the momentum right now with Senegal. Well, let's see what they do on the defensive end. Coach drew up a little trap. Promise doing very well. Well, Dillard has to hurry. Goes behind her back, launches it from deep, misses it, and Gia Four brings it down. Ooh. So I guess Nigeria's going to hold it for one. So they're going to make the go now. Seven seconds. Mukamara pulls up and misses everything. Now the quickly the other way, and they're not going to get a shot off. Well, it's not game, set, and match yet, but it has been an impressive, impressive second quarter, especially for Senegal. Outscoring uh, Nigeria 28 to 17 in the quarter. They lead it 46 to 37 at halftime. Well, Jeff, here are the stats. Thank you very much, Senegal. Getting to the free throw line has been important, but the free point line has been kind to them, shooting 43%, six from 14. Done very well. The rebounding game pretty even, 20 to 19. The assist even as well, but the steals, four to one. Senegal, you can definitely feel the momentum is on their side. There's your top scorers as well. I just felt like they've dominated that second quarter, haven't they? They've done very well. And uh, I've really enjoyed the, the style of play. And we've but got ourselves a game. You don't want to mess anything up if you're Senegal. I mean, what do you say? I mean, everything has gone perfectly. I guess you have to anticipate what Nigeria are going to do. Well, here's the second quarter. Best plays. It started with Sarah Ogoke with that bucket. But you're right. I think she said also, Sarah Goke, in that, in that last time out, hey, we need to pick up the pace. We need to bring the energy. Uh, and certainly in this third quarter for them, I think it's going to be very important that they start very well. She's been fantastic. Uh, yeah. she? You're right. She's got 21 points. Yep. And uh, to me, remembering how Senegal played last year now, Let's not forget that Khan came out yeah. made some huge plays yes, when did. Senegal were trailing, I think, in both on offense and defense. Yep. And uh, I think for me, the, the impressive thing is, A, I mean, they have been able to score, but their defense, that interior defense, has really just kind of swatted the Nigerian shots away. Swatted, but also swarmed them, made, made it really difficult for them down low and uh, really been strong. And, but changed up the defensive looks. And sometimes that's really difficult as an offense to see exactly what you want to play. Um, but they've done very well in this first half. They've got five blocks. Senegal. <laughs> yeah, Senegal has five, five blocks. blocks. Okay. And uh, block, not just like deflection blocks, like... Get that out of here. Yeah, get that out of, <laughs> yeah. get that out of my house. Balagoon maybe needs to look for her shot a little bit more. But again, it's about getting getting offense from your defense and it'll be easier well if i'm nigeria i'm not panicking you know there's still a full um 20 minutes of basketball but what they do need to do is pick up the intensity 
pick up their defense and turn it into quick offense. And I'll tell you one thing, remembering Alberto Carlos Antuna Leal when he was coaching Uganda, a lot of stressful moments. I'm not seeing the same stress for him right now. Education, health, justice. We sometimes take these simple things for granted. They're not common for all of us. We are all born on the same planet, but not with the same opportunities. Whatever our gender, color, belief, or capability, we are one. We are all on the same team. Let's convince those who never thought they would do it that they can. We can. Together, we are stronger. No matter your origin, basketball can bring everyone together. Basketball for good. Big time block. Corroso coming up for the screen. Resets back. Corner, the Oliveira. She's fouled. Ooh. That's a four Ooh. point play opportunity. USA's got their heads down. Encore trying to keep up with Sizian. Oh, look at Musa go up for the rejection. Takes it into the elbow and will hit it for two. Big time shot. And Sammy just elevates into her jump shot, fading to her left, knocking it down right at the buzzer. Star getting some opportunity in minutes. Um, Serbia. And meanwhile, she goes in, scores. A very difficult shot is fouled and has a chance for a three point play. Yeah, they challenge you on every possession. Beck falls, and that's going to be on a highlight. Super move, got her on the back foot, pulled up, pulled the trigger. Again, goes the long way. That's great hands, quick hands by Manunga. Out in transition behind the back by Van Lu. Razamon can do everything here in Tel Aviv. I want to see that on replay because this was razzle dazzle here. Look, Bates goes behind the back. Lee puts the Jets on. Oh, how did she do that? Juan Lee just parted the seas. There's your highlight. That's that's just a super duper move. They try to inbound it. They get it to Dubai. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! They have taken advantage.
Well, this is the Sport Palace in Antwerp, Belgium. The fans uh, going out to get some popcorn. And uh, right now, we're going to look at the top scores. And for Nigeria, it's Amy Akonkwo, the MVP of the FIBA Women's Afro Basket last year. She's got 11 points, and she hasn't played badly. No. 11 early points, but their defense, like I spoke about in the second, what they went to is a man-to-man, -man, but face guarding her, making it very difficult for her to get extra points. Also, Kan was on her, who was long and lean. But she does lead the scorers with 11. Yeah, they really need to... I, I don't think it really matters who takes the shots for Nigeria. I think it, I think it's like you say, it's, it's got... The, the tempo of the game has to change. Yeah, because that's when they thrive. That's when they play the best, in my opinion. When I've watched and, and commentated Nigeria, that's where they're excellent. It does. It happens from their defensive end. But look there, Cannes right all over her. When she's wide open, she's hitting that. She's played wonderful. And I'm just, like, speechless by how well not Dillard, but Yassine Diop has played. I mean, yeah, she has had some big games in her career. Yeah. But you're talking almost perfect on the offensive end, 21 points in the first half. And it was those three-point shots, three from three, 100%. Look at that. And she just stepped into that, but she's been locked in and really tough to guard, doing it all from the three-point line, short-ranged. And here she had the little nice layup. She's going to be definitely at the top of Nigeria's list to stop because 21 points in the first half is a very good job by her. You know, how difficult has it been for, for Senegal to watch Nigeria celebrate all that success the past several years? You know, they've played them, they've lost to them. Yeah. You know, they, they lost, you know, that was a painful defeat last year, losing in that final. Uh, you know, at the end of a very, I think, difficult FIBA Women's Afro Basket for Senegal. They, they had some ups and downs, but they made it, and then to fall yet again to Nigeria. So, hey, there's a long way to go in this. You know, nine points can, can disappear quickly. And I'm just curious what's going through the mind of, of, of the coach for Senegal. What does he do? You know, in terms of anticipating, is he going to make any changes? I, I, don't, I don't see him. He's going to have to react once the game picks yeah. up again because he I don't think he, he wants his team to do anything else than what they're doing right now. No, they've done really well. I think uh, what I've really enjoyed is their different styles of def defense. I think this is what's been very crucial and the reason why they're up where they are. They've changed it up. We've seen a man. We've seen a zone. We've seen multiple different zones. We've actually seen them press Nigeria. Nigeria is usually the full court press type of team. So we've seen them on the defensive end doing wonderful things and really capitalizing on their turnovers. Yeah, well, they've got the athletes, Senegal. They've got the size. Uh, and the veteran presence as well. The veterans, yeah. I mean, and you know, their veterans don't look particularly old. No. You know, you would worry because I think the coach is uh, doing a great job of making substitutions. Yeah, you're right. Managing very well. Keeping the bodies fresh. Uh, go into his bench and, and that's what Senegal does have also they have a strong bench but so does Nigeria I think they need to just settle down there's no need to hit the panic button yet if in my opinion Jeff there's a long time 20 minutes of basketball and like we know from history these teams play each other multiple times they always come down to the Afro basket final and it always goes down to the wire and I think that's going to be the case today so Nigeria did lead by as many as seven points in this game. Uh, that was early. And it's been all Senegal, really, mm. since. So the second half, uh, it's going to be really interesting to see what uh, what Commons Nigeria does to try to kind of just snap out of it, so to speak, wake up a little bit defensively, yeah. intensity-wise. And also uh, Kunai Pal Palace. Uh, your favorite, problem. who's got the foul problem. You know, she's got three fouls. She cannot afford, in my opinion, it just takes you out of your rhythm. It takes you out of, you know, your aggressiveness on in the game when you pick up early fouls. It's really tough. So she's going to have to make sure when she comes in the game um, that she moves her feet. She's uh, disciplined, keeps her hands out. And don't let the referees pull her forth. So don't forget, we got USA Belgium coming up next. And again, you know, looking at it from the outside, 
you're looking at this game as perhaps the game that decides the third, you know, the third team from Antwerp going to the Olympics. Yeah. Just you uh, saying that sentence. Yeah. You can't say that sentence lightly. No, you can't. You know, and I think Nigeria need to hear that sentence. You know, you've got to come ready, locked in on this third quarter. It's so important. You can't let Senegal get any momentum and be feeling good. But for me, they've managed the game very well, Senegal, so far. Well, they always talk about how it's that opening five minutes of the second half. You know, who's going to win that five minutes? And in this game, that's, uh, that's definitely true, I think, for Nigeria. They need to really flip the switch here or this, you know, panic could set in. Yeah. And, you know, it is it is a pressure situation. There's no doubt in the back of both teams' minds knowing if we could get this dub, if we can get this win, we're one step closer to Paris. But go ahead and scan your QR code for courtside 1891. Keeping up with all the scores and the latest of the Olympic qualifiers. Some fantastic games going on all day and all week. Right. I know you got it on your phone. You showed me this morning. I do indeed. There it is. So crowd fans getting back in their seats for the second half. And this is an impressive venue. And again, Belgium, uh, I guess the center of European women's basketball right oh, now. They love the Belgium off the cats. heels of, of winning yeah. the Euro basket. women's Eurobasket. Yeah, they were incredible. I, I um, was fortunate enough. I sideline reported uh, for that game. And man, it was just a really wonderful scene for Belgium because this group has really been together for a really long time. And you could just see the excellence coming forward and they just played very well as a team so i'm excited to see them go against usa which usa aren't the strongest team i've seen uh, no britney griner no asia and the other thing that's interesting is if senegal do win this and you will definitely have some desperation in the nigerian ranks for belgium so. yeah because nigeria have to play usa tomorrow yeah so they could potentially go oh and two and then having to play Belgium on the on the final day. That's right. There's a whole myriad of possibilities. That's why you're here. Well, <laughs> I think it's down the road. You don't need to worry about it right now, but yep. it's uh, right now. Right now, important. the time is now for Nigeria, and they need to click it into gear. And you also say for Senegal, you can look on the expressions, look at the expressions of their players and their coach. They know they have an opportunity here as we start the second half. Nigeria, Senegal, Senegal with a 46-37 lead over to Tigris. We're in the green, attacking the basket to the right. And the GF4 is going to go in and get blocked. And uh, she's going to travel. That's the call. So even, uh, look at this, Gata. I mean, you're talking about a GF4 yep. getting rejected. Locked. And we spoke about the length of Senegal starting this third half with another block that makes it six. Yara takes a deep, turns outside of Dillard for three. Oh, boy. That's big time, the three, and they've got a double-digit lead. Huge hit. Got the defensive stop, and then that massive three. Fantastic start from Senegal. Okoro is going to come into the game quickly for Nigeria. So I'm assuming that's a defensive switch, and quickly, boy, okay, is this some clutch shots today? They are like... Feeling like they're on a respirator, respirator right now but because of her, the way she's been able to knock them down. Yeah, and just been so calm. Sar bumped. Sar's incredible for me, Jeff. I just need to shout her out again. I'm sorry, fine wine is not moving like a 40-year-old. I have a 40-year-old sister and she does not move like that. Hopefully she's not listening. <laughs> that was, uh, the foul was on Musa. And another foul, and Dillard goes down. And I think, I think the coach wants uh, an unsportsmanlike possibility to go have a look at it. He could use, he could use a, a challenge here if he wanted to. 
I don't think it's time to use that yet. Here it is again, watch this. Nah. So the basketball inbounded to Saar. Dillard, back to Saar. Pui gets it back to Saar. Over to Diop for three. And Agoke goes up for the rebound. Okoro races in, lays it up and in. Really lovely job from her. Good recognition. Wide open layup. That's their easiest bucket so far this evening. Clark guarding the perimeter. Here's Dillard. Gia4 trying to swipe it away. Saar gets inside, misses, and a Gia4 with the rebound. Here's a Coro for three. That's way too hard. And now it triggers an uh, opportunity. Dillard up to Pui, lays it up, and misses the layup. What a break for Nigeria. And they're going to stop play because one of the Senegalese players is down. I don't know. I felt like she was holding her neck, maybe, or. Ooh. Mona Diada. She's breathing very heavy. I feel like she got hit. 33 year old. She's helped off well. work. Plays professionally in Spain. So, this Have is a look. guarding. Oh, it was kind of like. An after effect. Weird. Like she got hit, took the hit, and then maybe just kind of collapsed. It seemed like she kind of got hit lower. More in the midsection, but yeah, she says she hits her throat. Doesn't look comfortable, so no, she doesn't to be okay. So that means uh, a change. Uh, coming into the game now is Fatu Dian, number 45. The quarter again. Oh, lost the dribble. Gets it back. Gia Fort thought about it, and she is able to get it down low, and there was uh, some contact there with Balagoon, but the defense in the paint. Senegal yet again looks so long. Saar keeps her hands up, makes that shot very difficult. Pass goes out of bounds. Good try by Diop. Trying to make a play. But the one thing you don't want to do is turn it over against Nigeria. That'll undermine your efforts. Here's Okoro from the corner. He misses, but a Gia4 brings it down. Back to Okoro, passes up the three this time. Back to a Gia4. She passes up the jumper and then runs into traffic and gets blocked. Here's Balagoon for three. And she misses. And a GF4 call for the foul from behind. Senegal looking so long, so lean. It's making it very difficult, very hard. And there's uh, coming in. But making it very difficult, Jeff, for, for Nigeria to get a good, easy look. Looked like Saar had a grab in the arm of a GF4 there. She was falling down. Yeah, it's called a veteran move. Very smart. So again, Diop brings it up the court for Senegal. Pui puts it up from deep. Ooh, rattles out. And Nigeria guilty of ball watching there. Not boxing out. Here's Diop for three. She misses. Nigeria living dangerously, giving up some opportunities from deep. Okoro. Here's the most, probably the most reliable shooter in the, in the game is Agoke. And, oh. She, even she passes up the long one and turns it over. It's almost as if they've given the instruction, keep looking down low. Yeah. Because of all the players who's been hitting it, it's been a go -kay. And the ball goes out of bounds. The right look. 
Got to catch that one. She knows it. She says, my bad. Here comes Promise Makamura back into the game. Point guard. Koro again. This time she does shoot it and she misses. And Nigeria really struggling. Lucky Concord to maybe get some get some touches in to put him up. Dillard and the foul puts Fatu on the free throw line. So Fatu Dion went to the stripe. Yeah, nice little no look pass at Dillard and then Nigeria swiped down, so she'll go to the line for two. Well, there's a lot of ball as well. She's lucky to get to the line on that one. Well, she makes the first. So the lead goes back to nine. There's a Mukamara. Over to Okoro. Oh, oh. Euro step gets into the paint and earns a trip to the free throw line. Okoro, I like her aggressiveness right now. Getting to the rim. Here it is. Yeah, she has the wide open three if she wants it. She doesn't settle. She attacks the basket. <laughs> Sila will come back into the game. Asar, good to see she's feeling better. Well, hopefully Diada's going to be okay. Uh, she looks better, like she's got her breath back. And sure. Khan, Khan is also back in the game. Her free throw is good by Cordo. So no time to panic for Nigeria. 15 minutes, 38 seconds remaining in the game. But I don't think they anticipated trailing Senegal by this margin coming into this game at this point in time. Remember, Nigeria beat Senegal in the FIBA Women's Afro Basket last year, and Abo. to get rid of it here a little bit faster, doesn't she? So they call the foul. Yes, Sina. Here's Promise, Mukamara, Conquo open. She lets it fly. Oh, front and back stays out. Three-point shooting for Nigeria has not been great tonight. Five, well, it hasn't been horrible, 5 of 15, to be honest. Feels like it's a lot worse. And you may have gotten a break on that one as well. Here's the pass inside to Okoro, and she gets the bump and is going to the line. So definitely their strategy right now is to try to get the contact to get to the free throw line. Yep. And it's been all her for me yet again. Strong move. I think when she, she brought Musa out, it yeah. was at the time because uh, she allowed Dillard to get that open look. Yeah. But by inserting a quarter into the game, you just put in like a juggernaut offensively. Just a free throw. She's definitely give that injection of energy and just aggressiveness to the rim. The free throws are going to be important. Conquo, boy, they get a break there. Miss both. Abo puts it up and in. Boy, that's one that Sen that's one that Senegal did not need to give away. Yeah. So that was great by Nigeria. Constantly offensive rebounding, giving themselves extra possessions. And finally getting the score. Oh boy, Conquo. It's a foul. It's only her first. You can afford that. Problem is, there is a limit. And that puts Senegal on the line in every single quarter. They have been putting Senegal on the line early. And around the same mark, really. Around this five to four minute mark. Mm -hmm. 
Miller with a quiet 16 points. The good ones always get their buckets. They get their points. We're back to an eight-point lead for Senegal. Taiwo in the game. She can shoot it from deep. I'm sure that Senegal remember her. There she is. Still right on top of her. And Abo has to put it up from deep as the shot clock was winding down. Khan goes up, throws it hard off the glass. Good job of Conquo stealing it. Gives it to Mukamara in the open floor. Goes up, misses. Koro rebounds it. And Taiwo, and boy, how does Nigeria not come away with points on that? And they want some full court pressure now. They're going to. See if they can disrupt Dillard and Senegal. They got her trapped. Oh, she stepped over. Good job, Nigeria. Wonderful job by Nigeria. Dia knew that was coming for the whole time, and her team did not help her. Great trap, good turnover. That's the Nigeria that I know. Turn over the ball and then come down and score. I just feel like this is it. This is the turning point that they kind of need and the energy. But you're right. I mean, Senegal, they need to, they need to recognize that the Dillard trap is coming. Being, yeah, you got to move. You got to give her, give her somebody to throw the ball to. Tyro not getting any space outside. Here's a Koro. Ben burns the jumper and runs out of time. She's so up. reluctant to shoot that jump shot. Yeah. And they know it too because they're sagging completely off of her. Okay, so here's the full court press again. Hopefully Senegal now have learned from that turnover. Maybe here's they just the missed bet. the layup. They've just failed to score after getting the turnover. I mean, it's really a struggle right now for Nigeria. Well, the veteran Saar just had a nice little conversation with her team. Hopefully, she's told them. Well, who's going to bring it up? Is it going to be the up? I'm not sure they have an actual point guard. And this could be a situation where they're vulnerable. I don't understand what they're waiting on. OK, this is going to be interesting. Okay, so Sarge going to bring it up. And they're going to fall back. Because Abo, I'm not sure if the hour meanwhile, has checked back into the game, number 11. He had to leave after having some breathing difficulties. And Sarge travels. Another turnover okay. mistake. Coach wanted her to pass. Three and a half minutes to go now in the third quarter. Nigeria not really making any inroads. Abo left open, knocks down the three. Well, they're leaving her wide open, sagging the defense, you know, really baiting her into shooting the three, and she does, and she knocks it out. She shows she can make it. They're going to have to guard her. Here goes Dillard. There's Diara, and great defense of Coro. Tying up number 11. She needs to keep the ball high as soon as you bring that ball down. All the little minions can come and get it. And she's done that twice now. You know that, you know that movie. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. A little clattered into uh, a conquo. And then. Now, Nigeria with the ball and uh, maybe a chance now as we get closer to put some pressure on Senegal, who have uh, sort of encountered some struggles themselves now on the offensive end. Okoro open this time. She takes it and, well, the bank was not open. And Ebo pushed by Diara. Abo's uh, making some X Factor type plays. I didn't expect this to happen. Yeah, well, she's hit the three and then strong offensive rebound here, rims in and out. And yeah, that's a great call. Pushing the back. 
So Abe is going to the line, number six. Now Senegal also in team fouls. All the lights lit up under both team names. Well, they need they need Abo in a big way right now because uh, Ajiofor, Musa, and Palace yep. each have three fouls. Yeah. Oh, she misses, but again another rebound. offensive rebound off two missed free throws. Multiple times Nigeria getting the offensive rebound. Abo misses the free throws and they capitalize. Conquo spins, gets in the paint. She's denied, and the whistle blows. And Conquo will go to the free throw line. Well, here we get to see the, the replay. Nice spin move. What is it, D? We've seen the Geo 4 rejected. We've seen a Conquo denied, but she's able to get the foul to get to the free throw line. Yeah, and these will be her first points of the second half. Of the second half, yeah, she had 11 at half. And uh, maybe they won't be. She misses the first free throw. 12 minutes, 25 seconds, ball don't lie. No. Does I that think, apply here? No, I think um, commentators curse. There you go. I believe in that now. Makes one of two. It's a four-point game. And then the full-court press. This is what they're known for, but they pull it off. The light press. Bar hands it off. Jump at the stripe. Misses. Abo not able to get the rebound. And good work. Diata saving it in bounds. Dillard. Going right at Promise to Mukamara. Look at the spin. Look at Dillard go. She doesn't score though. And a Conquo comes down with the ball. Promise pushes it and now stops. Wide open. She gives it to Abo. Promise is open again. She takes it and does not knock it down. She has to take it if she's yeah. that wide open. The first one she really should have taken. Cooking. Khan drives. Oh boy, Ooh. look at the youngster. I love that move for her. The long, lean steps takes the hit and finish. Okoro takes it deep, puts it up, misses, and battling away at Conquo, and the ball goes out of bounds. It'll stay at this end. Nigeria yeah. doing a really good job on the offensive. You're right about Khan. I mean, Khan, I think, is probably raising eyebrows today. I don't think anybody, I certainly didn't anticipate. Yeah. I mean, it's their first big tournament with, with Senegal. They have found a diamond in the rough, perhaps. Well, she's young. Um, so. And we're in um, Belgium, the diamond district. That's right. We found her right here. Tier 4 looking on a little bit nervously. And there's a hum in the crowd right now, but it's it's like people are, maybe they're stunned how close this game is. And Senegal have been battling away like this. And Nigeria having problems. Oh, look at that. And boy, that is a good play by Khan. Ball goes off of Taiwo and out of bounds. She hasn't been able to get into the game at all. Taiwo, has she even launched a three yet? I don't think so. She's had a shot. Tatsu Jang back in the game. The veteran guard number seven. Here goes Saar. Over to Khan. Goes right at uh, Taiwo and earns a trip to the line. I really like her. You know why? Because once, look at this, she puts the ball down, and then once she's into those two steps, it's, you know, it's game. You put the ball on the rim. And then also when she's in that two step, she's now into her offensive cylinder where the referees have to call a foul if there's any movement or, you know, aggressiveness to her. So Taiwo goes out. She has not attempted a shot. And you were talking about a lethal three-point shooter. Yeah. She has to be able to get into spots where she's taking threes. And she just can't. Guarded by Khan, who's at the line. Yeah. And... Made it difficult. Money has been the most interesting player that we've watched in this game. I mean, we know we know Dillard's good. We know Diop is good. And this is a player we didn't know too much about. She's got eight points right now. And but her defense has been outstanding. 
And she has got really nice and release. Nice. Yeah. And blessings. Ijo for also in back into the game. Number 22 with the ball. We're back to an eight point lead. Nigeria still in trouble. Abo. Here's a go case. She's got to put it up. She does. Not able to bail him out, but. Another offensive rebound. A five second difference of the game clock and shot clock here at the end of the third quarter. Mokamara. Okay, gets swatted. Now, a chance to run. Diop for the last points and goes to Khan. She goes up and the whistle blows and free throws awarded to Khan. That end of the quarter could not have gone any worse for Nigeria. Yeah. I think what I think what got her to the line is the pump fake. I'm not sure that she was she was hit, but no, the pump the fake. Nigeria yeah, uh, Promise Mukamura just came down a little bit on her back, so we've got to protect the shooter. Oops, she misses the first. This is the revelation of the day. I think uh, free throws are going to start to be super important as we go into the fourth quarter. This is both. Wow. So that's a very potential, very important two points. Not scored right at the end of the quarter. But you got to tip your hat to Senegal. They are still on top 57-49 against Nigeria. Ten minutes remaining. Well, here are the third quarter stats. 41% for Nigeria, too, but 39%. Seven from 18 Senegal. Shooting a pretty good clip from the three-point line. Kind of cooled off in the second half. And then... Uh, but the momentum is still kind of with Senegal. Some good steals, but here are the best plays of the third quarter. For me, I think Nigeria's turned up the heat a little bit. I would like to see a bit more as they go into this fourth, control it on the defensive end. But what Nigeria have done fantastically uh, is hit the offensive boards. Sometimes two, sometimes three possessions uh, extra are going to be needed. Yassin Diop didn't score in that third quarter. Uh, Dillard, I think, you know, fourth quarter could be Dillard time for Senegal. <laughs> yes. Koro checked into the game, breathed some life into Nigeria. But their go-to player, Conquo, hasn't been able to really assert herself in this game. Yeah, she's only got one point in this quarter. She started to the half. Uh, there she is. She had 11 at half. But that, I think it's the defense. They did so well. I told you about the face guarding, making it very difficult. One, for her to even catch the ball, but then to score, it was difficult. She had multiple players coming at her on the defensive end. Well, we're into our fourth and final quarter, Jeff. This is where it comes down to. It's very important. This is huge. For me, in my opinion, this is the final. Whoever can get this first win is believing they're on the road to France. Yeah. The team that wins this game is thinking they have claimed the single most important game, the victory of their tournament. There's no doubt about it. Everybody knows it. People inside, outside this arena. And I think the players of both teams know it. will tell oh, you. Important. They know it as well. Yeah. So Nigeria going to have to lay it all on the line here over the last 10 minutes. And same for Senegal, who could be crashing the Olympic party. Wouldn't be tonight, but look at that. What a terrific play and a great play by Abo to be strong to go up and to get to the line. Yeah, I like that play. Establish your post player down low, go right into her. She works so hard in that post up position and she'll work her way to the free throw line for two. It's interesting that she is the pivot who seems to, to be making most of the impact for Nigeria today. Yeah, well, you know, they've had a bit of foul trouble. But I mean, she's so big, she's so strong. She also works very hard for her positioning. She's even hit that three where they baited her into shooting the three, she did. 
So well done by Lauren Yibo. And she's going to be around a long time. I mean, 23 years of age, oh, you know, young, first yeah. big tournament for her. Yeah, six much like, four. So she's the revelation for Nigeria, whereas uh, Khan is the revelation. Yeah, the young, the young up and coming yeah. for both of these teams. So she cuts it to six point deficit now. Senegal, can they answer back? Or are we going to see some serious D from Nigeria? You got the GF4 guarding Pui out on the perimeter, or no, Sila on the perimeter. Here's Dillard. Dillard puts it up and misses and kind of forced Senegal into a shot they didn't want to take. Now quickly up the floor. Balagoon down low. Conquo back outside to Evo. Now promise to Mukamara. Count it! Here comes the Tigress. 57-54. Great job, Thompson Mukamura, wide open, hits that three. And Nigeria saved the best till last, when they need it the most, oh. they have. Boy, good play, stepping in front to take the ball away, a GF4, and now the pass, and a Conquo is fouled as she goes up by Silla, and suddenly cracks starting to show here for Senegal. Let's have a look at this. No look pass. Oh. Are on the side of the face. Yeah, that was uh, swiping at the ball like that. You're always, even if Dangerous. you don't foul, you're probably going to get called for the foul. I'm glad to see that she's up and at the free for a line. So Conquo, Lucilla, she needs to shake it off. And as much of a struggle has, as this has been for Rima, for uh, Rima Combo's team only down three points. Make it two. And now you got to wonder what switch, if any, will will Senegal do defensively? Maybe some full court pressure from them. Yeah, I think uh, I can feel a little bit of panic, but they don't need to panic. They've controlled the game the whole time. They're just making couple silly mistakes. But what I do like about Nigeria, they've they've executed, but they've also attacked the rim that's been important for them Senegal need to lock in here and get a bucket well this is the player here Dillard that you would think is really going to be looking for her shot but she's facing double teams every time she catches it and there's Diop nowhere to go the ball comes back the ball is kicked it goes over to Nigeria who can now take the lead and Diop for me also Jeff you know she had 21 points at the half she hasn't scored since She's still on 21. She had that hot first half, but it's cooled off. And right now, they need her scoring. They need Diop scoring or Dillard or you name it. Anyone. Abo posting up, catches it. Here she goes, the 23-year-old. 23, 23 How about that? The turnaround jumper. Time out. The X Factor. And Abo. Looking like she wants to get to the Olympics. Yes, she does. Puts her team up one. Great post move, nice spin, and forces Senegal to think about it. They've led for most of the game. And here come Nigeria. Stems from their defense. I spoke about how much they need to just try and listen in to the timeout. Well, no, we're not going to listen to the fourth quarter. Yes, we don't. But, you know, Ava did play college basketball in America for the Fighting Irish. Uh, she's played at the highest level. Um, she's she's ready for this occasion. We've had a lot of women from Notre Dame that have shown on the international stage, and uh, she has picked a good moment to shine for Nigeria. She's really been a, a silent assassin, hasn't she? But really somebody that who's just stepped up and been big for 11 points, but she's shot the wide open three, post move down here low, uses her body, stays low. And then that nice turnaround jumper cannot be blocked. Is the energy that Nigeria, the Tigers, needed. And she calls it. Senegal better be careful here because you can see Nigeria coach clapping them on. But still, it's a one-point game. Senegal doesn't need to panic. There's still a long time to play. Eight minutes, 21. I want them to really... Um, you know, take their time on the offensive end, get exactly what they want. 
She also plays for the Lady Lions. Oh, okay. Penn State. Penn State. You know how it is these days. I know you played all four, four years in Florida. Yes. That's, is that more of the exception than the rule these days in the American College of Basketball for, for men and women? But anyway, we've got uh, a game on our hands, folks, in Nigeria who have had an almighty struggle, have taken the lead, 58-57. Here's Diller coming out of the timeout. Oh, boy, an open look for Saar and misses right at the stripe. You couldn't have asked for a better shot. And now Promise Mukamara drives in, lays it off, and Nigeria go up by three. Pretty little move. Lovely drive from her and finish. And now the pass telegraphed to Gia for almost taking it the other way. And Dillard has not looked as decisive today. And uh, telegraph pass. And I remember last, last summer in Rwanda, I mean, she was just... Incredible. putting her team on her back yeah. and going to the basket. Yeah, she had 19 points in that game, in, the, in that final, and and right now she sits she on six. in the second half. No, she, has six, she sits on 16. And for me, she's got to be aggressive. She's got to look to the rim every single time. Maybe it's going to be caught. She spins, she turns, she goes up, and... Good looking, interesting shot. She didn't score, but maybe maybe this is con time. Try to get to the free throw line. The offense drives up. Gia able to get it in bounds just over Conquo. And here she is, Con. And you like her chances of oh, she's gonna launch it from deep. Well, Here's Promise to Mukamara. Open and front back stays out. And the ball saved in bounds. Went through the legs of a Gia 4. So just a three point lead and they get it inside the SAR. They get an easy one. Nigeria was disorganized on defense that time. Oh, that's the first easy layup for Senegal. It's been tough for them this last first couple of minutes to get an easy bucket. Here's Ava. Look how big strong she is. Yeah. To catch that ball with uh, Piara on her. Gotta get rid of it. They gotta go. Shot clock about to expire. Balagoon looks up. She sees it. She launches. She misses. And Ava called for a push. Nigeria not out of the woods yet, and Senegal's hopes definitely not over. Still 6.40 remaining. Palace comes back into the game. She's been sitting with foul trouble, three fouls, but this kind again. She puts on deck. She drives. Oh, she loses her handle as she gets in, out of bounds. And she has to be able to pass it. I don't mind her driving. Really surprised Dillard hasn't taken over, to be honest. Not like she's being quite passive, passing the ball, not even looking at the rim. The GF4 beats it, knocks down a huge jump shot to take it back up to a three-point lead. Massive. Great hit. Had the feet set. Nothing but net. Dillard. Here goes Saar. Nice footwork. Nice footwork. Doesn't finish. Look at Khan flying for the rebound. Goes up and is fouled. Two free throws coming. Khan just laid on them. They're just catching their breath. That's a great way. But here's Saar's miss, but flying in. Look at that. Working hard. Putting in a shift. So Khan goes to the line, makes the first. So that was on Balagoon. That foul. 
He's got three fouls. All sorts of foul trouble. A lot of players with three fouls really for Nigeria in case this game were to go to overtime. You don't know. I mean, it's, in this case, you could. And just two players with three fouls for Senegal. Siafor wanting to make the backcourt pass, but Conkle comes out. Now she drives in. Her pass intercepted by uh, Dang, and now they're appealing for an unsportsmanlike. Okay, it looks like they're going to ask, they're going to challenge. Are they? He wanted to. He doesn't want to use his challenge. Very calm. He had a nice little conversation with the referee. Well done. He could have used the challenge. Yep. Here's Saar. He's driven by Saar. Takes it deep again. They can take the lead if they score. Nigeria's got to play defense like their lives depend on it here over the final five minutes. Shot clock about to expire. Twee, little runner, misses. Just grazed the net. Looked good, didn't it, from this angle? But a good defensive stop from Nigeria. So Dillard got a quick blow. She's coming back into the game. The last five minutes now is has to be her time to start being, you know, aggressive, getting her look. She hasn't scored in this second half. Palace, meanwhile, picked up a foul, so she's got four. Did she? She has also checked back in. Yeah, we need to keep an eye on that. There's Palace. He doesn't want to take that three. Here's Promise. Back to Musa. Right to strike. Oh, boy, that is big. Been sitting a long time. It comes out and hits a huge shot. Yeah, coach loves it. Lovely smile by her, but you're right. With the defense in her face, too, Jeff. Oh, she's going to try to disrupt Saar. He hands it off to Dillard. Is it Dillard time? Shot clock about to expire. She dumps it down low to Saar. And Saar again. Oh, I wish she this could is go it. up. Back to a great place. Uh, why didn't she go up with the first layup? Jeff, she was wide open. Here's a Mukamara. Palace with the offensive rebound, a new 14 for Nigeria. Four minute mark coming up. And Nigeria leading it by three. Mukamara drives in and going to the line. Mara got hit hard on this, crosses over. Look how many times she gets hit. Hit in the back, hit in the side, hit in the face. Woo! That was a tough bucket from her. She'll go to the free throw line. Huge two free throws hit. Oh boy, the free throws. The free throw game. Vital. 20 of 26 Senegal at the line tonight. Just 9 of 16, now 10 of 17 for Nigeria. So shooting in the 50s. Yeah, not good enough in my opinion. Not at this level. They do have a four point lead, however. Diop gets it again. Diara this time spins and has the ball taken away. But Musa not able to stay in bounds. It's a great job by Palace. Nini had, was on her knees on that. It's a big defensive assignment she has. Eight seconds on the clock. Dillard for three. And gosh. Three and a half minutes to go. Huge possession. And Sula with the foul. Almost had the deflection. Shot clock down to nine. Mukamara drives in with the left hand, comes up short. Nice 
pump fake. They get it to Diop. Comes in from the left corner and able to score. Falling down. It's the first bucket. He needed that. Balagoon for three. No, nope. she misses, but Musa there for the for the rebound. Great rebound by Musa. Senegal haven't done a great job in this second half at the offensive rebound. Nigeria doing a good job getting multiple possessions. Shot clock about to expire, and Amuka Mar misses, and then a hold. Oh, no. Yeah, another offensive rebound. And Senegal falling apart. Rebounding, they, they're making Nigeria shoot one tough shot but not executing and getting the rebound. If they look back at, you know, the stats or something that they could have done better is, is the offensive, or should I say the defensive um, rebounds for Senegal, just letting Nigeria get multiple looks and three-point game. Well, it is crunch time. It's winning time, and the Kongpo is at the line. And she makes some big free throws, takes it back to a four-point lead. That was just poetry that just happened. We're making Ryan I didn't even know it. being too generous, too, too generous to myself. Here's uh, Diara goes and pulls her way in. I thought she maybe walked. No, I didn't think so. Palace to the corner. Conquo for three. Yeah. Count it! Amy Conquo, perhaps the biggest shot of the game for her. And once again, Amy Conquo standing up to be counted in these critical moments. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Jeff, that shot gave me goosebumps. It, I thought you were just cold. No, I'm not cold. She is cold as ice to hit that shot in the corner, wide open, big. Yeah, she didn't hesitate. And look at that. That's exactly what the Senegal fans are saying. You know she's going to the corner to shoot it. You got to talk. Yeah, well, timeout needed. Still enough time. It's only five points, two minutes, two seconds. A lot of time. I mean, it's too early to dissect this to say as a post-mortem for Senegal, but yeah. they have let a lead slip. You know, they were they were right where they wanted to be at halftime. And you know, where have they gone wrong? It's been this fourth quarter where they've been outscored 21 to 8. Well, I think I've been harping on it over and over again, but I think it's Nigeria's um, offensive rebounds. They have 16 offensive rebounds. Yep. The Nigerians have been uh, very active on the boards. Yeah, really good job. 46 rebounds overall, just 34 for Senegal. And Where Senegal only have nine offensive rebounds. If I look at that stat, 16 offensive rebounds. It's given them, and, and that's what basketball is, is a game of possessions. And if you can give yourself multiple possessions in time, no doubt that will help when it comes down to crunch time. Thank you. Just 11 points off turnovers. Here is Senegal. They've scored 17. Still up for three. And boy, that ball almost went in from Diop. And it's a five point lead in Nigeria now. If they score here, it is going to be awfully difficult for the Senegalese. And Diop calls for the foul on a Conquo. So she will go to the free throw line. I think, unfortunately for Sar, she missed some really makeable shots. Yeah. And, Key moment yeah. in the lane. Yeah, and Akanko with uh, these eight points, and you know she had really, in my opinion, dried up in that third quarter. Hadn't scored, and then it's just been on a rain. Boy, it is an impressive crowd in here, folks. I mean, it is full. <laughs> they have pulled the rib. Akanko goes to the line, makes the first. Full, yet still quiet, I have to say. <laughs> yeah, well, 
We're saving about, their voices for Belgium, so USA. I think so. End quote. A rise to prominence in this Nigeria women's team. I mean, it's, you know, it's happened under Rima Wakama. She's given her, she's basically given her a chance to prove what she can do, and she has delivered. Yeah, 21 points from her. Time. Clock now the enemy for Senegal. Yeah, Senegal needs to score quickly. Diller goes off one foot. And Diller gets the rebound, puts it up. And then Pui saves it in bounds. Kiara doesn't control it now. Conquo has it, crosses midcourt, gets it over to Promise of Mugamara. And the hopes of Senegal of getting this vital win on opening night fading fast. In Nigeria, it looked like they could be dodging a massive bullet that would have potentially knocked them out of the Olympics. Unbelievable. Fourth quarter. Conquo for three. And she missed everything. So the shot clock, except the backboard, but doesn't reset. It has to hit the rim. And it was more important to take it all the way down. Yeah. Kill the time and kill the clock. Yeah. 34.6 seconds. You, know, you also have issues with respect to uh, goal differential potentially. Yeah. So they want to lose by as few points as possible if that's the case. Because maybe you could see a, you know, them being tied with another team. Yeah. And Dilia for me, 16 points. I just think she just faded away in the second half where she's their go-to player. You know, and I just felt like she she wasn't aggressive enough, but she wasn't even looking at the basket at some time. You're talking about Diop or, or, or Dillard? Dillard. Dillard, yeah. yeah. Uh, and Diop has also, she's quietened off also. She had 21 points. She's only had two points in this half. This was the dagger three for me, and she yeah. knew it. Nothing but net and splashes it in. Nigeria, 34.6 seconds closer to getting the dub. And you got to really credit Avo for the minutes that she played tonight. Oh, yeah. They would not be in this position yep. had Lauren Avo not shown up to play tonight. Yeah, 11 points from her. She had that big turnaround jump shot. She had a wide open three that she knocked down. And that was really from then the momentum swing that I started to feel and see. Oh, it was huge. Senegal needs to score quickly. They have to. Get the ball in bounds is what they need to do. She barely able to throw it. Malibu knocks it out, so a new five seconds. Could have been a five-second call, but... They got to be able to get the ball in bounds. Yeah. Jeez. Curry has not played many minutes. She comes into the game. She gets it. They got to go quickly. Khan goes behind the back. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. But it looks good, but just not quite the finished article yet. And Nigeria closing in on a huge win. Like we've said so many times for Nigerian women's basketball. Huge. And I'm pretty sure that I'm pretty sure that after this game, uh, Alberto Carlos Antuna Leal is going to feel like his team let a golden Moment. opportunity yep. slip yep. To, get, to get to the Olympics. Yeah. I mean, they've still got two more games, so don't, you don't want to write off their chances. But we talk about playing Belgium here in Belgium. Yeah. Going to be a tough, tough ox. Playing and then USA. USA. Best, best team in history, really. Yeah. Really difficult. Um, program, rather. So it's, it's been important for Nigeria as the time runs out. Yeah. Remember, those points are important. If they can get a bucket here right at the end, see if they see if they can get a big one. Good defense by Never know. Musa, look at this, moving her feet, moving her hands, and then the block at the end. You never know how that extra two or three points might figure into the qualification. Triori not able to rebound it, goes, or to get it rather, 1.9 seconds left. Some long looks, and Tank Diop knows out on the court that her team were right where they wanted to be coming into the fourth quarter, and they just haven't been able to get it done. Here's Diop, puts it up from deep, and misses, and that just finishes off a tough fourth quarter for Senegal, Nigeria. 
hold it together. Somehow, some way, they beat Senegal 72 65, a vital win. And all you need to do is look at the expression, the celebration, to know how important this win is. Huge, massive. You know, they were able to hold on. Senegal were incredible. They held the lead most of the game, but then there was this momentum swing and you felt it and Senegal just couldn't hold on. Well, great game. I knew it was going to come down to, you know, some really great moments. But for me, I think where we'll see the stat that really helped Nigeria is the offensive rebounding, Jeff. I can't bang on about it anymore. I think that really helped them get them extra possessions, extra looks at the game, at the basket, excuse me, and ultimately got, got the win today. Uh, Nigeria seriously dodge a bullet. Well, here's the stats. There it is. 45% at the two, 17 from 38 for Nigeria, and only 30%, 12 from 40. If you look at that stat period, that is where the game is won. The rebounding, 50 rebounds for Nigeria. That was the stat I, I spoke about. And then the assist game, 21 steal, goes to Senegal. But for me, that's where they were incredible. They're all smiles, they're all happy because that is a great first dub for them. He up with the 23 points. Led, led the scoring, but just uh, not enough in the second half from her. Not enough Dillard. Yeah, and here's the second fourth, half. Yeah, fourth quarter best plays. I don't think Dillard turned up for me. I just think she kind of just let the the foot off the gas maybe it's difficult to say because you know you've got a change at the helm you know her, her role in this team i mean you know she kind of deferred in the first half but senegal were scoring you yeah know, she was setting up her teammates yeah duke we had that 21 points first half i mean she did have seven assists to go with their 16 points just don't be too harsh on her but she was just four of 13 from the floor ultimately and you know we saw her play so well last year and who could have seen this coming unless you have watched Abo play yeah. in college basketball. Lauren um, Abo was, she was fantastic here. That was the move. And just to realize, I remember that she screamed, her whole team jumped up, high five. That that was, there it is. You see the energy and they said, let's go. And I felt like from then they were on to the races. And she's, and she's not just joining any national team. No. She's joining the best team. Yeah. And she comes out and rescues the best team yep. in Africa tonight. And then some great baskets there by Promise Mukamura, her veteran leadership. She had some wonderful drives. So for me, that was the easiest bucket for her, but she had multiple looks at that and just kind of, you know, let the defense come over and let up. So a bit of a disappointment for Senegal. Especially. It was just two of nine from the floor, Saar in the end. Yeah. And just unfortunately not a good shooting night. Khan, we were really impressed by her play. And Dioma Khan, in the end, she was only 2 of 11 from the floor, 6 of 8 at the line, but she also had the 7 rebounds and really showed some stuff. And Musa, again, spent the majority of the second half on the bench and then yeah. comes out and, and hits that shot. Yeah. That was <laughs> impressive. So experience, never panicking. And let's don't forget about Agoke, too. I mean, if she doesn't keep them in the game in the first half with her shooting, that, you know, that thing could have been over. Yeah, Agoke was so focused, wasn't she? And you also heard her in that timeout. Hey, let's turn it up. Let's go another notch. And, and I felt like that presence was, was definitely uh, needed. And a great win from Nigeria. Fantastic. The and, they can, and they can get better. Yes, I, they have lots of room to get better, but at the end of the day, the Afro nation have made their first up. There it is. So Nigeria up at the top with the first win. Senegal with that participation point. They're in second, but uh, they'll either be third or fourth after the next game tonight. Uh, USA, Belgium, and the crowd already getting excited for that one. You can see it's tipping off at 8.45 local time. So 72-65, Nigeria win it. They were on the ropes, but in the fourth quarter, they owned it, and they get a valuable win. Nigeria unbeaten after day one.